we now have a new way to describe oscillatory motion. Let's use it. So let's go back to our mass on a spring, our favorite original mass k minus kx equals mx double dot. And we're going to see if this exponential solves it. And I seem to recall that we sort of almost did this. What was it earlier in the class? We could write a nice general exponential function, a e to the bt plus c. And that would also follow the rule. Yes, yes, it was one of our guesses, wasn't it? But we didn't check it. And the reason we didn't check it, we didn't plug it in, is because it would have told us that it works if your oscillation frequency is imaginary. And that would have blown your mind, right? But now, now you're prepared. So now let's start with the guess, because that's how we solve differ differential equations. Z, the complex Z, as a function of time, is A e to the j omega t plus phi. Because whenever we guess, we like to put in a lot of constants to make it general. So we have what probably looks like it's going to be an amplitude here, what's a phase, a frequency, et cetera. So we won't bother with the A, B, C. We'll just go ahead and call it, call it what it is. Call it what it is. Let's plug in. All right, so minus k times x minus k. And x is a e to the j omega t plus phi uh, equals the mass times two derivatives. So let's see. We're going to take the derivative of e to the something uh, with respect to time. So we know that, and the a is along for the ride, we know that the derivative will end up, you'll just write the same function, e to the j omega t plus phi. But then each time you take the derivative, you bring down the derivative of this with respect to time. So that's j omega. So bring j omega down here. Oh, but we do it twice because it's two derivatives. So if we bring j omega down twice, that's j squared omega squared. That's negative omega squared because j squared is minus 1. Minus omega squared. So when you put it all together, there you are. Minus omega squared m a e to the j omega t plus phi. So we plug it in, and the equation says, yes, it looks like it's going to be OK. I think I can work with you there, except the A goes away, this goes away. And you see it works if omega is the square root of K over M. So the exact same thing the equation of motion required last time, it requires this time. A specific frequency, square root of K over M, uh, and then a freely varying amplitude and a freely varying phase because those depend on the initial conditions. Those don't depend, uh, those aren't required to be a certain value by the system. Those are allowed to vary. So it's just like our sinusoidal guess, basically the same answer, except there's one thing. Don't forget. We just went off on this crazy little imaginary world in this imaginary plane, and we have now solved for z. But z doesn't describe motion. Z is crazy complex number. It's half imaginary. It's not real. Technically, at the end of any kind of a problem like this, you want to solve for the x position, right? assuming we're doing this on the x-axis from the origin. You want to get the x position, and that's always the real part of whatever complex thing you just came up with. So z is the complex solution. It's not the real world solution. Oh, well, what is the real part? Well, remember, e to the something this is a e to the j something. Remember, this is a cosine omega t plus phi plus j sine omega t plus phi. Well, the real part is the cosine part. Right? If you have a complex number and you want to separate the real and the imaginary, sometimes it's hard. But if you just have something without a j and something with a j, the real part is the thing without the j. Right? So really, then the real part is a cosine omega t plus phi, which is now literally exactly the same as our guess of cosine where omega has to be the square root of k over m. So it does work. We can use this. And in some cases, the complex guess will be better. And in some cases, sines and cosines will be better. Let's check which works better with some more cases of superposition. <laughs> 